Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 with Newcastle United. Today is the day where we could essentially guarantee ourselves Premier League football for next season. We've dropped down to 15th place. This is the second episode of the day. If you missed the earlier episode, it was the FA Cup semi-final up against Chelsea. I will give you a very quick run through of the fixtures that have happened in between if you did miss that one. Basically, we lost to Arsenal, we beat Leicester, we beat Derby, we drew two matches in a row against Chelsea and Spurs, and then lost against Chelsea in the FA Cup semi-final with a lot of yellow cards. Like I said, this match up against Norwich today could basically confirm our safety in the Premier League. If we lose, we're in danger of potentially being dragged back into that bottom three scrap because we are currently sat bottom of the pile, but we do have two games in hand over Sheffield United. The league is so tight that two victories could move us all the way up to 10th place. So, you know, we just need to win some games. We've got a nice little run of three fixtures in a row, Norwich, Brighton and Preston, although Brighton currently find themselves sat sixth in the table. Without further ado then, let's jump into the Norwich game and weirdly, we've never beaten Norwich. We've played them three times, they've beaten us twice and there's been one draw. I think we might have drawn earlier on in the season. Yes, we did. It was a 1-1 draw. Just before this match, both of our strikers picked up injuries. Monasteria and Guiri both picked up injuries. Um, we've also got Tosin and Matthew Mori both suspended as well. So this is going to be a bit of a rotated side. The starting lineup we're going to go for then. Freddie Woodman returns to the goalkeeping position because he's not cup tied for this, obviously. John Suter, Big Dids, and Johnny Panzo will be the back three. Emil Kraft will be the right back. Baba Rahman will be the left back. The two central midfielders are Matty Longstaff and the defender, Matthias Jakobsen. Um, this was pointed out a few episodes ago. Matthias Jakobsen, he's bloody good. He is actually bloody good. 17 passing for a central defender is insane. So he's going to be trying this box-to-box -box midfielder role. He's not the best at the dribbling and finishing part, but he's pretty good at most other things on there. So hopefully he can do a reasonable job. Jean-Pierre will be the attacking midfielder. The strike partnership will be Joel Linton and Michael Oberfemi for today's match. That is where we are struggling. On the bench, I haven't actually got any strikers. Hold on. And looking at the unpicked players, I don't have any either, apart from Jamie Vardy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't even know why he's registered, if I'm honest, but we're, we're going to do it. Why are we doing it? I don't know why we're doing it. Norwich, who we have played on camera a couple of times before, or once before at the very least, do have Zlot Danko playing for them as a striker. He's been there a while, actually, since the start of the game, by the looks of it. 11 goals in 20 starts this season. That's that's a good good exchange rate there. We need to stop him. Now, we've played three matches in April, I think it is. It might be March. It's probably April. And we've yet to score a goal. I would like that to end very quickly. Ideally, in this match against Norwich, I'd like us to score four goals in this match. Ortega with the ball in an early highlight, though, for the Canaries. Down the left-hand side, Kraft tries to push him over. Doesn't do it. Big Dids, Big Dids has handled the ball. He wasn't, he wasn't even challenged. Right, Freddie Woodman, can you do a Martin Dubravka and save this, please? That would be ideal. Adam Adar goes for goal. Freddie Woodman does a Martin Dubravka and saves it. We really need to stop conceding penalties due to stupid handballs. The corner comes in and was cleared. Good-ish start. It's not a good start at all, is it? Seven minutes, 20 seconds. Another highlight. Emil Kraft, who hasn't played a lot of football. Jakobsen finds Joel Linton. That's a great pass, and you'd expect that with 17 passing. But Norwich have cleared their lines. Idar, who's missed his penalty. Danko, he goes for goal. It's another save from Woodman. Danko collects it. Almost runs it off the pitch. Crosses in. Max Meyer is there. His header goes wide. We do win a goal kick. Getting caught on the counter-attack. I don't like the fact we're getting caught on the counter-attack. Matty Longstaff's getting booked for something. Or is he getting booked or just having a chat? Not sure what happened. He has picked up a yellow card. Didn't see anything, wasn't shown the foul or anything like that. Aaron Wan-Bissaka with the free kick. Danko, it's a... What? What happened there? What happened? Well, we're 1-0 down. Danko's put the ball in the back of the net. I did say we need to keep an eye on this guy because he's probably going to score against us. I'm not quite sure what happened. Was it you? Was it Bamba? I think... No, it wasn't Bamba. It was... It was... He just stopped. That's not how slide tackles work. We've got a... Throw, it's Baba Rahman, almost said it's a corner. Baba Rahman's throw to Matty Longstaff, doesn't actually get it, but does get the cleared header. Longstaff, where is he going to go? Jean-Pierre, through. Michael Oberfemi has to put it in. Mickey Oberfemi has his fourth goal of the season. Equalises almost immediately. 
I'm still not happy with the goal they scored. I'm really not. Throw for Aaron Wan-Bissaka to take. Buendia with the ball goes back to the former Manchester United right back. He might just be on loan there. I'm not quite sure. Johnny Panzo heads down. Buendia gets it over the top. Danko controls. It's a. It's another slight. It's literally the same goal. It's literally the same goal. Slide tackle. Doesn't actually get the ball. Danko then just smashes it in the back of the net. We're 2-1 down. So was this Panzo once again who went for a slide tackle and didn't get it? So here we go. Slide tackle. Doesn't get the ball. Danko then can just run on. Puts it in the back of the net. I don't think even Panzo's taken the blame for it. We've got a free kick. Jean-Pierre takes it towards the back post. Yannick Vestergaard heads clear. Danko to Max Meyer for Norwich. Are they going to get their third on another counter-attack? Emil Kraft collects it deep inside his own half. He's lost out to Adam Idar. He's running into the penalty area. He's going to play it across. He doesn't. He goes for goal himself because he's greedy. Ortega with a free kick. Norwich are absolutely battering us at the moment. Cantwell gets tackled by Jakobsen into Oberfemi. Joel Linton doesn't get the ball because Oberfemi didn't kick it hard enough. Longstaff with it. Jakobsen once again back to big dids. Over the top. Michael Oberfemi on one on one with the keeper. He went for goal early. The keeper saves it. We win a corner. Why do we never score one-on-ones? We really struggle with them. Jean-Pierre's corner comes in. Yannick Vestergaard is the only man there. Johnny Panzo's pushed him over. Johnny Panzo is having an absolute appalling game at the moment. Throw for Baba Rahman. Matty Longstaff's flick head only finds Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Now the goal-scoring hero for Norwich. Danko gets tackled. He doesn't get tackled, actually. He tackled himself. Big dids all the way back. It's Freddie Woodman. Forward to Suter. We've picked up too many yellow cards already. We're only 39 minutes in. Emil Kraft controls it. He's been tackled by Cantwell. Why can we not keep hold of the ball? Jakobsen, long ball, finds Joel Linton. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's going to miss because it's a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's going to be a corner. How do we make players score one-on-ones? Like, how do we do it? There must be something that I'm missing. Corner comes in. wan clears. Max Meyer gets it clear further. Right, I'm going to shout at people. Because nothing... Well, I mean, actually, nothing's happening. We're doing all right. We've scored a goal. Buendia's free kick comes in at the back post. It's Danko. He scored a hat-trick in the first half. What's happened? And at half-time, we are 3-1 down. It should be 4 because they did have a penalty as well. Emil Kraft has made 4 mistakes. We can't really do much but sympathise. What? In what world do you sympathise? You're 3-1 down against Norwich. Right, well, Emil Kraft has proved that he shouldn't be playing football. It's going to be Batista Meyer coming on, who for some reason is going to be a better right back than an actual right back. Fair enough. Not really sure where the logic comes in there. Baba Rahman also doing badly. He is going to stay on for the moment. And by the moment, I mean probably for the whole game because we have no left backs on the bench. Well, we're an hour in. Nothing. Nothing at all is happening in the second half. We are going to lose to Norwich. This was our chance to pick up that magic 40 point mark. It's a throw. Batista Meyer to Jean-Pierre. 70 minutes on the clock. Jean-Pierre gets round his man, tries to find Oberfemi and isn't going to do it. It's Johnny Panzo. Johnny Panzo, who's been absolutely appalling in this game, although his match rating hasn't been too bad, plays it inside to a Norwich player. I don't... I mean, Adam Idar's probably going to score. Johnny Panzo, get off. You've just annoyed me for the last time in this match. Oh, and Idar's skied it. That was awful. Panzo must have made about seven or eight mistakes in this game. And for some reason, the match engine hasn't deemed them his mistakes. Final 10 minutes. Nothing's happening. It's going to be a bad defeat. This is not a good defeat at all. Joel Linton is coming off. We're doing it. Jamie Vardy's coming on. Jamie Vardy is getting himself a Premier League appearance. It's a yellow card for Vestergaard. I'm not quite sure what that was for. Jean-Pierre steps up. He's got 16 or 17 free kicks. So hopefully it's good. Oh, my word. Absolutely everything is just going wrong. Baba Rahman with the ball. We've got three minutes to score three goals. Longstaff. Rahman again. Plays it forward. Mickey Oberfemi into the area. Goes for goal. First time effort is saved by Rossi. No, it wasn't. He was offside. Even better. Well, that was an absolute shower, wasn't it? 3-1 defeat. Zlot Danko scoring himself a hat-trick. Emil Kraft, four mistakes. I mean, the big thing here is not the fact that he's got 9.6 and three goals. It's the fact that Augustin Rossi got an 8.4. He's a goalkeeper. He even conceded a goal and got an 8.4. What did he possibly do? Frankie McAvoy, this may be your last ever team talk. Tell the boys they did well and their efforts were excellent. You lost 3-1 to a team below you in the table called Norwich. What? No. Angry. Shouting. Not excellent. Literally the opposite of excellent. Frankie, you're an awful assistant manager. 
I'm sorry, but you're gone. I've had enough of you. £105,000. Just straight up, get rid of him. Don't care. And now we pick ourselves an assistant manager. Here are our choices of good ones. I've not clicked on any of them yet. I could get Peter Elstrup again, couldn't I? The former assistant manager at Everton. Do I do that? Is that a good idea? Does he even like me? Luis Nascimento. Yes, you are the boy, formerly of various teams in Portugal, Rio Ave most recently. You're going to be my new assistant manager, not a coach. Give you a five-year deal, don't know why. Also, I, I don't know how much money an assistant manager wants. He wants nine and a half, I'll give you nine. There we go. We've got ourselves a new assistant manager, eventually. Well, that is going to do it then for this episode. Next episode, I don't know where we're going to go. Probably not very far. Or maybe oh, Preston. It's going to be Preston, isn't it? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do Brighton off camera. We're then going to have Preston as the next episode, which will be up tomorrow. We might get ourselves the 40 points against Brighton, but I'm not holding out much hope. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2020 with Newcastle United. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and I'll be back next time with the matchup against bottom of the table Preston, where hopefully we'll relegate them and confirm our safety. 